if you like this colourful makeup look, please stick around and watch. Hi, welcome to Trisha's Makeup World. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Trisha. I absolutely love colourful makeup. Today, I've done a, another Timu haul. Um, it's all makeup. Some of it, it, it looks like other brands. Um, so I thought we'll create a look with it. What I'll do is I'll put Pep down and I'll talk about all the products that I have. I've already got my base face on. Um, I did get, it's like a primer, a foundation and a concealer. Um, I've used them on my face just now. Uh, the primer kind of reminds me a bit of um, the Smashbox. Is it Photo Finish? That sort of clear. It reminded me a bit of that. The foundation um, is more like a sort of a matte full coverage, which I don't tend to use um, as much now. Just with being older and having mature skin and my skin can be quite dry especially in the winter i do have combination skin i do have the slight oily bit but more in the summer but at the moment my skin has been quite dry the concealer as well as like full coverage and i did quite like it because i did think that it covered my um under eyes quite well it's by a brand called beauty glaze and yet i mean when i bought this i obviously thought it was going to be bigger bottles. I should have read. It says travel, mini. It would probably do. If you're going away for a few days, you could pop that in your bag, you know. It's, I'm just, yeah, I was kind of hoping to have bigger bottles. Oh, well. <laughs> um, my brows, I've just used my Jenna Tutorials palette, as usual. I couldn't see anything that, to try, to be honest. The next product that I'm going to talk about is this now this is a blatant copy of <laughs> color pops fade into your palette i mean they've even they've copied the packaging they've copied the name and when you see it you're going to be like yeah that is this is it here it's a copy of it basically it is is it going to be you know just as good i don't know we'll find out obviously it's got a different i don't know like MQL or MGL. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. We'll try that. I've primed my eyes as well. And again, this is like a copy of another product. This is it here. I've, you know, I've used some of it on my eyes already as well. It's very, very similar to P. Louise's eye bases. This one's obviously a white one. I picked that obviously because we're using bright colours. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to show you is this blush. Again, I think it's quite similar to P. Louise, um, the cheek of it. I think that's what the, her, her liquid blushes are called. I used them in my last video with the Michaela collab. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, the same we'll find out but it's you know got the same kind of end where you have to go like that to get the color to come up we'll find out i have a little highlighter that we'll try i have another another blush uh, that i just thought was cute that i thought we could try that's if we can get into it <laughs> hang on a second i have to I'll open it from the bottom Look, it's like a little love heart. I just thought this was so cute. I thought, nah, I have to... Oh, hang on, I had this problem not the last time. Stick it in like so. It's like that and you twist it to get it to come up. We'll maybe try that out as well and see what we think of that. I'm just drawing back in there. I have a lipstick. Now, I've got it on my lips already. I thought it was going to be pink and glittery. It's more like, you know, those sort of like lip balmy ones and you put it on and it's quite clear. I mean, it looks pink and glittery. It does not go on pink and glittery. It goes on clear and then it kind of goes pink on your lips. It's like one of those, you know, those 
changing colour lipstick things. I've got a few of them. It's okay. Um, we may have to use a different um, lipstick. And lastly, I just picked up some lashes to see what they're like as well. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll get stuck into this and we'll take it from there. So we'll start off with this palette. I'm kind of thinking to do something quite colourful. Um, I, don't, I don't actually, I'm kind of like, how do we want to do this? Maybe start off with the orange. I don't know. You could probably start off with maybe the yellow going into say like an, one of the orangey sort of pinkies and then just sort of like purple into blue. But we'll bring it out. I want to do something quite colourful just to try it out. We'll see what it's like. We may have to do another video where we compare it to the Colourpop palette because I do have that somewhere. Um, that, could be, that could be another video. But anyway, we'll just get stuck right in. I'm going to use my angled brush. Um, and I think, yeah, the first colour that we're going to go into is this yellow one down here. And I can't read the names. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Like so. Oh, that's really pigmented. Oh. I'm just going to just this little bit here. And then we'll do the same and go over to the other side. Bring it up like so. But yeah, the foundation, I found it quite drying on the skin. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, hmm, it's a bit dry. I think if you were a bit more younger and your complexion's, you know, normal or more oily, you'd get away with using this. But see if you've got quite dry skin, I'd maybe stay clear of it. I think next what we'll do is we'll go into this one down here. It's like sort of a corally colour. And we're just going to just a little bit against that yellow. Don't put it into the yellow, just put it next to it. Kind of thing, you know. That's what I'm going to do here, like so. And then the next colour, we will go into... I think we'll go into this one up here. It's like a sort of a, a pinky, reddy sort of colour. And we'll just next to it. Oh, that looks kind of too similar, to be fair. No, we might have to go into the darker one. It's too similar. Still too similar. No. Um, I think we'll maybe move into the purple. Let's see if we could just... Yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to put that purple shade over the top of that, like so. That's fair. It was just too similar to that first shade that we used. Yeah, that's fair. And then I think we'll, we'll go into the blue one. And if I've got space, we'll even use the green. <laughs> um, Kind of like, do I have enough space to do green? Let's just do it anyway. So I'm now going into that green one on the bottom there as well. Yeah, that kind of works. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would maybe be quite interesting to do a comparison video where I maybe do like one side of my face with this palette and then the other side with the Colourpop palette just to see if they are, you know, the same. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just find my one that I like. This one. I'm 
we're going to go into this one and what we'll do is we're just going to make our way along those first colours using uh, slightly lighter ones. So we'll go into this one up here and we'll tap over that first shade of yellow. really been up to anything since my last video. The last video obviously did the P. Louise Michaela collabing. Yeah, we've not really been up to very much. We watched, what did we watch last night? The second Blade Runner film that's got Ryan Gosling in it. I hadn't saw Blade Runner before. I knew what it was with Harrison Ford. We watched that a couple of weeks ago and I really enjoyed it. So we, uh, put on the other one with Ryan Gosling in it and I quite liked it. Now, let me just look at my eyes. It's more the sort of, I think we used a corally colour. We'll go into this one up here now. Orangey sort of shade. And then the next shade's the sort of purpley colour, so I think we're probably better to go into this more sort of lilac shade. I think they're okay, the sh you know, they're performing okay, but, you know, do I think it's as good as Colourpop? Probably not. <laughs> really like Timu um, for the for, for the price see if you're just somebody starting out that's taking an interest in makeup especially a young person you can get you know great products on there eyeshadow palettes all sorts brushes it would be really good for somebody you know that's starting out I do think some of their stuff's you know relatively good relatively good And then the next shade is sort of that blue. We'll do the same. We'll go into the lighter one up here and uh, just over that first blue shade, just kind of like tap over it. Kind of blend it. back into that sort of lilac -y. as well, just a wee bit, just feel like it's not Okay, and then we'll go into one of the light green shades for the end now. Which one do I want to do? This one? Yeah, probably this one. And just at the end, just do that. I'll look to see if I want to go over and intensify anything or if I think that's 
Okay. I think it's not bad actually. Yeah, I think what we'll do now is we'll go into Pee Louise. I'm calling it Pee Louise. It's not Pee Louise, is it? It's. I don't know. <laughs> Can't even pronounce that. Somebody that's, that's copying Pee Louise. <laughs> Pretty much. I'll just put it on the back of my hand. Um, and I'm just going to go in with a flat brush. I don't always do this, but just obviously for the purpose of the video, for you know what I'm using, we oh will. <laughs> and I'm basically going to follow the shape. It's a different consistency to P. Louise, definitely. I'd say it's more more of a watery consistency to the P. Louise bases. Now I'm wondering if it's going to dry down okay. We will see. We will see. And then just the other side, do the same. Take a little bit and then just follow your shape around. Because it's like a sort of a like a rounded top you can almost you know you don't really have to do too much you can basically just drag it around and pat at the same time Yeah, it's more, I would say more of a a watery consistency. I feel like it's bleeding almost on my eye, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's not, yeah, got the same consistency. I'll just take that off the back of my hand. And then what we'll do is we'll go in with one here it's more like a fluffy like flat brush but more it's more fluffy if that makes sense it's still got the same shape and I'm just gonna spray it and then we're gonna take some of these shimmers and just work our way <laughs> around let's try and get now, what was the first colour? I was like, that's really, that, this row here. I think we should go into this one up here. Let me see what it's like. Oh, it's not even doing anything. It's like a glitter. I'm not really into glitter. And I'm having to put it on with my finger. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so keen on that. I don't feel like it's even doing anything. Definitely not the same as Colourpop. Oh, I'm getting a little bit, a little bit. I think I'm going to go down into the yellow satin and maybe put some over. That might. Let's have a look. Yeah, look, that's a bit better. Just putting a little bit of yellow here, and with that glitter over the top, it does look a little bit better. Then it was like sort of the orangey, sort of pinks, wasn't it? I think we're going to go into uh, this, no, this one. We'll see. more like a sort of a pinky yeah some of them have got like a sort of a satin I would say they're more like a satin sort of traditional sort of shimmer 
there's a few glitters in there. I'm not overly keen on glitters at all. I'll try and just rub that so that they look like they're going into each other. I've got glitter under my eye. Oh. Then we'll go into... Right, it's purple. Probably this one here. It's like a... Again, it's like a sort of... Yeah. Sort of a shimmery. And then for the blue and the green, let me see. I think we'll go into this one. I don't think I'm going to have enough space to do a green. I think we're just going to have to. So yeah, we watched that um, the second Blade Runner. I quite liked it. I thought it was alright. I, mean, I do like Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I think he's quite alright. That's looking not too bad actually. I'm kind of thinking, do we want to try and put any more of these like sort of glittery ones down? Let me see. Right, we started off with the yellow, didn't we? We used a bit of the yellow. I'm not overly keen on glitters. And then it kind of goes into the orange. I'm kind of like, should we try a bit of that? And then maybe a little bit of... Just a wee bit of blue at the end. Yeah, they're not the best. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Similar to ColourPop. The mats, though, do blend quite good. Considering, I mean, this was only about, it was under £5. Under £5. I, you know, I mean, I think to buy this palette off of um, Colourpop, I'd probably be about between 30 and 40 pounds. Um, so yeah, you know, it is quite nice. Right, now we need to do the under eye. And I'm just going to go back into my slanted brush and I think uh, we will go, we'll just repeat. Yeah, we'll just kind of repeat what we have underneath. You know, like what we had above. We'll start off with sort of yellowy in here and then we'll go into that sort of more corally shade. And then I think it was the purple. We'll do it, we'll just do the blue. Kind of run out of <laughs> space. Yeah. There isn't really anything for me to do, like in, in our, you know, like highlight. There isn't even white. And none of the shades in that palette are light enough for me, so I'm just going to take my Jenna Tutorials palette and I'm going to use the lighter highlight, this one here, just for my inner, because I do like, like a light. Colour, yeah, that's better in my inners. Right, I think next... I thought that was okay. I still, you know, it's not. It's not P. Louise. <laughs> uh, we're going to use these eyelashes. I don't know what they're going to be like. 
Um, I'm just going to go in with my dual lash glue. I didn't think to actually see if they did a glue on uh, Timu. Um, do you know what? I buy off of Timu quite a, like, quite a lot. I quite like them. Um, I mean, I've, I've bought some clothes. Some of their dresses and things are, are actually okay. And I do think, yeah, some of the, some of the makeup stuff's okay. Like I said at the beginning, if you're a young person starting out, you know, just, you know, t taking an interest in makeup, you could, you could get a lot of nice products off of Timu. Um, to start out, definitely. Last time I did this, I bought a foundation and um, I said at the beginning that I wasn't overly keen on it, but I've actually been using that quite a lot. The one that was, um, it was I think it was in a sort of a square sort of shaped tub and you had like, um, it came with its own like little sponge, mushroom sponge and you tapped into it and you, and you applied it. I've actually been liking that. Probably because my skin's been quite dry, it's more of a sort of a dewy, I'd say it's more of, it's either a BB cream or a CC cream, but I do, I, I do really like it a lot. Right, let's try these lashes, let's see what we think. I actually quite like the feel of the band. Hmm. She feels quite nice. Now you know me <laughs> for my eyelashes. If it's got a plasticky feeling, it's just a no. But these are actually really nice. I can't remember how much these were. Probably about three pounds at the very most. And you get how many sets? One, two, five. The band is actually really comfortable. Really comfortable. So that's something I, I just don't like if they've got that sort of scratchy, plasticky feeling to them. I really don't like. They've got to have, yeah, like a, a comfort feeling, yeah. That's not bad, not bad at all. Now, I didn't bother with the mascara because if, if you remember from the last time I did a Timu haul and we got a mascara, it left me with panda eyes. So I'm just going to use, I think I could find it, where I could put it. Uh, yeah, this is. I'm just going to use my Essence Princess mascara. I like this mascara. You can get this off of like, I think it's either Just My Look or Look Fantastic. It's one of one of those websites and it's really, really not expensive. It's the very most maybe about five pounds. I like it. It does what I want it to do. It lengthens my lashes. Oh, I never put it on the, oh well, I never put it on the tops. Oh well. I just try and blend my lashes into it. I've gone and put <laughs> a bit of mascara right in the corner of like my nose. I don't want. Let's just get a bit. Taking off a bit of the concealer, sort of. I need to go and I'll open these up actually to show you. Yeah, they're not what I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be way, way bigger. Um, it's just like a little thing like this. Uh, I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the back of my finger if I can get it to come out. Nope, it's decided it doesn't want to work. That's fine. 
Maybe get a sponge. Oh no, that's that's okay. I've kind of blended it. <laughs> I do. I find it. I find them quite dry in these products. Uh, I think if you had more sort of an oily, you know, problem, or you know your skin was normal, you'd get away with that. But not me. I I'm finding them quite drying. Right. Next. Um. We'll try the blush. We'll try. I think it's very similar to P. Louise. Very, very similar to P. Louise. Um, I just want to. Like so. Very similar to P. Louise. I still say P. Louise is better, but yeah, look at that. I might have to go and get some sponge. It's maybe just a little bit too bright for me, and I was wanting to use the other one. <laughs> um, I'll just, just a little bit. Tap over it just a little bit. Do the same, just tap over it a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. I think the other one we're maybe just going to have to demonstrate. I don't know if I want to go put it over because I'm going to end up with really bright coloured cheeks. It's like that. Maybe just a little bit. And we'll go in with my sponge. It has quite nice payoff as well, actually. Yeah, they're both really, really nice. Really, really nice. I think I quite like that, you know, because it's a heart. It's quite cute. <laughs> you could just wind it back in again. That's cute. I do like that. And then we have this little highlight. Now, I don't know what it's going to be like. I've not actually even tested it. We'll just... Hmm. I've just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Let's see. Well, that's quite nice. I don't know if you could see that. That's quite shimmery. Now, I'm just going to a few wee dots and then I'm going to go in with one of my wee brushes. This one, that should do. And just That's really pretty. That's given off a really good. Oh yeah, I do. I really like that a lot. Yeah, that's that'd be nice. Yeah. The last product that I got was this. I thought I was buying a glittery pink lipstick. It's not. It's like one of those colour changing, you know, you put it on, it goes on clear and then it goes to like a sort of a, a pink colour. I've already kind of got it on it. Oh, that's quite broke it. <laughs> ah! I've kind of fixed it. There we go. No, I've broke it. There is maybe a little bit of glitter, but all it's doing is really giving a little bit of um, colour. I don't know if I like that on my lips. So I'll maybe use one of my other ones and yeah, I've broke it. <laughs> it's got kind of like a sort of a, a fruity smell to it. And do you know what? It does kind of hydrate the lips. If you're just wanting something, you know, with a little bit of colour, that's okay. But it's not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I think what we'll have to do is we're going to have to have a little look in here and see what I have lipstick wise. Uh, 
Ito nga naman ako na yung sin. I have a collection here. It's Han, is it Han Dayan or something. I think we'll use one of them instead. We'll use this one. I got these off of Amazon a while ago. That's a lot better. I think what we'll do now is we'll just run through all the products. So the first obviously products was the primer foundation uh, and concealer. They weren't quite what I thought they were. <laughs> I should have read more the, the print. It did say that they were travel. I mean, they were only about three pounds. I suppose it would be good if you were going away for a couple of days, you could take these with you. It would probably be enough. It is more a mattifying, full coverage, you know, foundation and concealer. Not to my taste, with having mature skin and it being dry, I find it just a little bit... I'm looking at my skin just now. It looks okay, it's just not what I like. I prefer something more dewy. Um... That was the first product. Then obviously we used this palette, which is obviously meant to be yeah, a copy of Colourpop's uh, Fade Into You palette. And this is it here. Um, the mattes were okay. These ones here are like glitters that are basically mixed with something like a Vaseline formula. They're not the best at all. These sort of ones here, the, the more sort of like satiny shimmers, are okay, they're okay. It's definitely not on par with Colourpop. <laughs> we will have to go back and revisit and do a video with that. We next used, I think we'll talk about these lashes. These, I really like these. These are actually really, really comfy and I would buy these again, definitely. The lipstick, uh, well, I've broke it. <laughs> Who would I buy this again? No, it's one of those colour changing. It's quite gimmicky. I mean, I had these, what, a few years ago. I had the one where you had the flower inside it and it was clear and it changed pink. It's basically the same. It's glittery. Yeah, no, I wouldn't buy another one of these. The heart-shaped blush is actually really good. You do get a lot of pigment off of it. It is maybe quite gimmicky because it's heart shaped and things, but if you like stuff like that, then you know, it, it, it's cute. It's cute. I really, really like that a lot. The base, the eye base, it's not as good as P. Louise, but it's done the job. You know, it, it, it works okay. It was only a pound, two pound at the very most. And then this blush, the liquid one. Really, really nice. Very, very similar to P. Louise. I would probably buy some more of these again, actually. I did really, really like that a lot. And then finally, the little highlighter as well. Really, really nice. I really, really like it a lot. This is the final look um, with, you know, using the various different Timu products. I hope you liked watching. I think my look's okay. As I said, you know, some of the products are okay. Some of the products, you yeah, know, I, I wouldn't recommend. Um, if you've got any suggestions, you know, to palettes or, you know, makeup that I try, you know, leave a comment. Um, if you've liked watching this video, please like it. Again, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again probably next week. I don't know. <laughs> it might be another P. Louise uh, palette. I'm not 100% sure what we'll do. But I will be back again next week. <laughs>